I haven't been this impressed with products, at least complexion products, in a very long time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys are already part of this wonderful family, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch and to support. So in today's video, we are going to be doing one of our oldie but goodie foundation reviews. I'm very excited because this foundation is literally everywhere. I see it on social media, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. It's literally everywhere. Everybody's raving about this foundation, so I had to jump on it. It is the famous Frankie Rose foundation. So before jumping into today's video, as always, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell so you guys are notified every single time that I upload. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's finally jump into a foundation review. This is what the box looks like. This is how it came in. It came with this little pamphlet and it says, um, perfection has arrived. So I literally see everybody saying that this foundation makes your skin look so perfect. So will it? I don't know. Let's go ahead and test it out. So inside the box, they did include this little like cute sticker with FR, which is obviously Frankie Rose. They did also include this like free gift with purchase. It's a little cute scrunchie with FR all over, obviously again for Frankie Rose. And then inside the box we have the foundation i'm excited you guys so this is what the foundation looks like like i said it says frankie rose and then foundation written embossed all over the packaging i believe this is called the matte perfection foundation i did pick it up in the shade vintage so i'm hoping i had to match myself online so i'm really hoping that this matches because I'm gonna be very upset if it doesn't. This right here is the packaging of the actual bottle. It is very bougie feeling. It does come in this glass type bottle with a little pump. So let's go ahead and talk about the actual foundation. I'm pulling up all the information on my phone. Now, the reason I said that I'm, I would be very upset if this does not match me is because this was a little pricey. Like this, this has its price. This does retail for $36, which is a little up there. It's more on the high-end side. Um, Frankie Rose does tend to run a little bit more on the pricey side. I've heard really good things about the um, contour palette, so I'm very excited to try that next. But let's take it one step at a time and see how this foundation does. Now, this does come in, I believe, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 shades, which it's not a whole lot but i see everybody really just have positive things to say about it so again the shade that i chose was vintage which just says it's neutral warm undertones now let's talk claims it says that it is instant coverage instant confidence full extended coverage that is silky and lightweight um it is a perfect long wearing matte finish that will leave you with a smooth flawless complexion and it does also claim that it is good on all types of skin so dry sensitive combination normal oily it says to use one to two pumps for light to medium coverage or build it up to achieve your desired look for the smoothest application use our pro foundation brush so I do not have the pro application brush I'm gonna be using my handy dandy the one I use all the time this is my elf total face sponge I believe this is holy grail I absolutely love that sponge I love it with every foundation that I've ever used so that's what we're gonna be using today on the face now before jumping in I do want to prime the face a little bit so because this is a more mattifying um, foundation I do want to make sure that my skin is super hydrated because just for reference I do have pretty dry to normal skin mainly dry especially now in the colder months it does tend to get super dry so I'm gonna go in with my refresh this is the ultimate priming and setting spray this is actually new from Haley's Beauty I haven't really tried it out lately but from what I have tested it it's refreshing and it feels hydrating so let's go ahead and pull the hair out of the face okay so now for actual primer I am going to be going in with my beauty creations this is the flawless stay poreless primer this is supposed to smooth and refine pores so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that and just kind of concentrate it right where I have the most visible pores which is right around the nose area right here on the inner cheek areas and then also on my chin all right you guys are nice and close and personal i went ahead and i pulled all of the hair back so it is out of the face so we can really just concentrate on the skin so this is what my foundation or my foundation this is what my skin looks like it's already prepped i have some blemishes some problematic areas i don't really have any big breakouts right now hopefully it stays that way but this is what my skin looks like without anything on so this is what it looks like I went ahead and just pumped a little bit on the back of my hand now 
Now it does seem a little bit runnier than I expected. Usually when matte foundations say that they are matte and full coverage, I typically expect like a thick consistency. So I mean, this is not a bad thing. I'm not saying that the coverage won't be there. All I'm saying is that hopefully it's not too mattifying, but by the looks of the texture of the actual like liquid of the foundation, it looks like it might be pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place a little bit and dot it all over the face. I don't know how much exactly I need. This might even be already too much. I don't know. We will see. I think this actually might be a good match. Let's go ahead and start blending it out. Wow, this has really, really nice coverage. Really nice coverage. This actually kind of reminds me of the Beauty Creations um, Flawless Stay Foundation, I believe it's what it's called. I absolutely love that foundation. It's breathable, it has like a satiny matte finish, it has great coverage, and this is kind of giving me those vibes. So this kind of reminds me of that foundation, and like I said, I really, really like that foundation, but this foundation looks really, really nice. Wow, okay, so this is what a small light layer looks like. I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and just turn off the light that I have directly right in front of me just so you guys can really see what it looks like. I know sometimes these beauty, they're not beauty lights, but these lights can be a little, you know, um, intimidating. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the, the one right in front of me. So this is what it looks like a little bit without, you know, a direct light shining right on it. I mean, it looks really nice on the skin. It looks like your skin, but better. What I will say is that it does seem to dry down pretty quickly, so I would definitely work fast with this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then we'll go ahead and discuss it. But I mean, you guys can see the side-by-side -side comparison. This is obviously the side with no foundation on. This is the side with the foundation, so I, I'm really liking the finish of it. This looks really really good okay so i'm gonna just use what was remaining on my hand so now i literally have nothing left on my hand picking up whatever i have with the sponge and just blending the other side out i'm telling you guys like the immediate coverage that you see with this foundation is like incredible like right off the bat this has incredible coverage it really does Well, I am actually really impressed with this foundation. Like, this is looking really good. I mean, it just looks like your skin, but better. It doesn't look or feel cakey. I definitely agree with the claim. It definitely feels very lightweight on the skin. For it to have this much coverage and to feel as light as it feels, it's actually quite, it's quite incredible. Like, I, I really like that. Very close up, so you guys can actually really take a look at what's happening. It's not building up anywhere near my nose. It's not building up anywhere around my mouth. I do have pretty dry skin, and the fact that it's not building up or caking up or, you know, doing anything weird, it's actually a very, very good thing. So this is quite impressive actually so this is what it looks like really close up the only other thing that i do want to see before i just finish the rest of my face off camera is i want to see how my concealer will blend with it this is my current favorite all-time concealer right now this is my go-to this is the rewind blurring full coverage concealer from haley's beauty i absolutely love this concealer so i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this and i will just kind of see how it blends out Now, a little goes a long way with this um, concealer, so because we have such a full coverage foundation already, I don't really think we need a lot of concealer anyways. This concealer typically does great with any and all foundations that I have tried, so if it matches great with this one, I will probably call this my new favorite foundation maybe? Who knows? I don't know. I'm like really, really impressed with this foundation. I mean, the concealer just blended in like nothing and it just looks so good like i'm so beyond impressed right now so i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of concealer on this side oops it's looking pretty good so far okay so can we just talk about how 
flawless my face looks right now with the foundation the concealer blended in beautifully I have no complaints about it like this looks so good I'm so beyond impressed right now it's not even funny like I haven't been this impressed with products at least complexion products in a very long time so this is my skin this is what it looks like with no filters obviously on my cameras I don't use filters on my camera but this is what my foundation looks like this is what we're working with and I'm I'm so impressed like I see what everybody's talking about. I see the hype. I understand the hype now. This looks incredible. So what I'm going to do really quickly off camera is I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then we will come back. All right, you guys, this is what the final look looks like. This is everything already blended together. This is what the final look looks like. And I actually really, really like it. Like right now, I would rate this an A, like literally A plus because it looks so good on the skin. Like my skin skin looks smooth it feels perfect it I haven't been this impressed with a complexion product in a very long time like I I don't even know how to explain it but this looks so good on camera it looks really good in person it looks even better the shade actually matched me really really well so um, like I said I did get it in the shade vintage and I'm very happy I'm very impressed with this foundation like I cannot wait to create some more looks with it and really just love the heck out of this foundation because it was a little pricey I will say that the only thing that was kind of the downside was the price but they always have great coupons that you can use there's a lot of different affiliates with Frankie Rose so you can definitely choose um, an affiliate code to use like I said I do have pretty dry to normal skin and I don't see it sinking anywhere into my skin 100% impressed with this foundation. All right, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little foundation review for today. Like I said, this is the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation, and I absolutely love it and 100% recommend as of right now. First impressions, like, I'm impressed. So if you have any more suggestions, shoot me a DM. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. But I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao.